what if i record every single trading day of my life showing you how i do my analysis how i take my trades and how the trade goes so in this video i'll be doing a live trade analysis i'll be recording everything for you this is going to be a top-down analysis for trade entry on gbp usd or euro usd i'll be doing the both and then i'll take the best trade out of it all right so let's get into the video so this is the london session and it's one of my favorites of all the sessions that we have in a day i am right here on gbp usd this is my chart and it's on 15 minute time frame if i go to the one hour time frame since i'm trading just for today i want to show you what i'm seeing before i can continue with this analysis all right so this is what we have on gbp usd so now the first question you will ask now what is the best time frame for an intraday analysis if i don't have a good setup on the one hour i'll just simply look at what is happening on the four hour to get an overall idea so on the four hour time frame this is what i have i have a break of structure right here to the upside price trading into this rejection block and we saw rejection to some level right here so this is simply a break of structure to the upside as you can see trading into this rejection block now all i need is to do my premium and discount all right definitely i don't want to expect price will turn direction to the downside so what i want to do is to go bullish i want to align with the bigger time frame because i'm trading just for today i don't care what is happening uh around this area forever all right so i just want to take a chunk in the market and walk away and even if i check dxy which is one of the best asset to do the intermarket analysis the dxy is simply the dollar index it gives you an idea of where price is going now i can see dxy is massively bearish to the downside and i'm suspecting this particular breaker block will be where price will trade into and fill up this liquidity void before we go up that means dxy is going to go lower before it goes up this small movement downward this could give me almost 100 pips so i'll go back to my gbp usd and continue with my top down analysis so what i have right here if i go to the one hour time frame you will see it more clearly all right so right here is the one hour time frame what i have on the one hour time frame let me clearly show you we are premium we have discount and right here in the discount area i have this guy this is a mitigation block in the discount area all right so i'm filling up this place so can you see this thing let me show you what is happening right here so you can see do you know what an inducement is inducement is simply a fake out that make people to think that price has started going up and then they put their stop losses right here it's a deceptive move so if somebody has taken this trade you know it's going bullish but then right here is where their stop losses are and if you observe the institutional reference point right here is where the institutions will want to push price into before they go bullish again so this could be an inducement so that's simply what inducement is anyway and many of you guys have been caught up in inducement in one way or the other but i want to show you what exactly is inducement so you would avoid it next time you come across it so this is an inducement area so i would like to see price come here and then one thing is very strategic here if i go down to the 15 minute time frame you're going to see something much more better and different for you to use for your entry if i enable the asian range kill zone you will realize that I am about to enter the London kill zone hour. Do you know what the London kill zone hour is? The London kill zone hour is simply the time window from 7 a.m. London time to 10 a.m. London time, that three hour window. What normally happens is that price will look out for this range. This is an Asian range. Let me enable my session breaks to see. We have basically three sessions in a day. We have the dead hour the dead hour is basically when the financial day that is the global financial day is inactive and there is not so much activity there and then asia starts two hours after the dead hour this is the asian session the entire movement in asian session what are the currency peers that are active jpy aud these are the currency peers that are active on that particular time of the day so what I need is to trade during the London session. Immediately after Asian session, London session begins. And this is what you have right here. So this is the trick I use. What do you have? 
every day, what I look out for is if I see price, you know, take out the high of Asia or the low of Asia first. It means price wants to go either of the direction. So this is it. If price starts by taking the low of this Asian range, this particular range, if you want to watch this, simply go to my YouTube channel, check the playlist. There is a playlist called Killzone Playlist. All right. So everything is there. You will learn everything about the Killzone strategy. So you will learn it. So this is the entire movement of Asia. Asia is known as a range. And this is the power of three concept. Asia starts with a range, which is accumulation. All right. Manipulation comes as a sweep of liquidity, either above Asia or below Asia. And distribution goes to the upside if we sweep or if we manipulate from the downside so this is simply what it means so when you have this you're going to see that you you probably have a bit different price delivery so this is what i have i have price sweeping below asia grabbing liquidity around that area and this is exactly frankfurt open 7 a.m uk time this is exactly frankfurt open now i have some suspicious movement here you remember that inducement i told you i have liquidity resting below here all this area we have liquidity resting below here where can we find liquidity relative equal lows or relative equal highs and this liquidity is from yesterday's movement and right below it you have an imbalance a fair value gap right here let me adjust it properly so you can see we have a fair value gap buy side imbalance sell side inefficiency so i want to see some manipulative movement price pushing even lower to the fair value gap and then i'll go bullish and target this place so today's trade is going to be this this is what i'm predicting i will record everything and then i will show you how it happens and then i will share with my community the paid community i'm running on the ground the website is about to be up very soon you will have the website fully ready and then everyone can join us to trade together so what we have is this so i'm expecting price to trade into this area remember that mitigation block i showed you price will target that area and then we will go bullish in this direction all right guys so i will stop from here and i will continue at some intervals so i will make sure that you are being updated of everything i'm doing so this is how trading is done you wake up you take advantage of it and you take trades see you shortly i will show you more all right traders welcome back here still on the process of that trade i started showing you now i promised you that i was going to show you everything all the analysis and if you follow through all the analysis this is from a top-down perspective i told you that this is going to be an inducement and price did not fail us it actually did the same thing i showed you you remember the fair value gap i told you that price was going to trade into and then touch this particular mitigation block price did exactly what i predicted now this is it price has been going and my stop loss is below here my target is here it's about let's see how many pips um about 50 something pips and i didn't hesitate to update my community immediately when this trade was ready so it takes a lot of patience it takes a lot of discipline to be able to trade in the financial market guys so you have seen how i went through every single analysis when it was ready this was when i told them that guys the trade was ready immediately when i took the trade i said this was it it was ready and some of them actually took the trade with me so it was a good one a lot of questions and a lot of interaction in the community a lot of good one right here so i'm gonna take partials once i reach level and then i will shift my stop loss to break even and allow the rest to move that's basically what i do to make some cash every day you want to join us make sure you reach out to me in the comments or you can there is a whatsapp link in the description of this video you can talk to me i'll keep watching this immediately when i reach half i'll update you guys maybe from there then i'll end the video from there i'll come back immediately after trade reaches my one is to one percent level all right so let's watch how price plays out thank you guys so keep watching as we expect price to reach that level thank you all right traders welcome back so this is what i have right here all right so 
Can you believe that this thread actually took almost a day to be completed? It flipped from New York closing yesterday to Asian open and even to London before it delivered liquidity to the upper side. Now, I told you initially that trading has to be done with patience. It has to be done with a lot of accuracy and you need to do a lot of psychological management. But then I will not lie to you that I was not in the trade till it finished. And the simple reason was that yesterday FOMC came out. All right. FOMC came out and the truth be told, FOMC is one of the news I don't trade. I don't want to be in the market when FOMC is coming in because I'm an intraday trader. So I came out somewhere around here, I guess, somewhere around here. Not much of a profit, but then I came out somewhere around here and left the market to do what it want to do. And I knew that it would come here, but I don't want to gamble with FOMC. Even though FOMC did not react that much, I don't want to gamble with anything FOMC. That was why I came out of the trade. So you've seen how this trade went all through. And I actually told the community guys that you can come out if you are scared of FOMC. Some of them came out, some of them did not come out. But I personally was not in the trade. I'm not going to hide anything from you. So this is everything about the trade. You've seen how I went from the analysis before I took the trade and after I took the trade and how it delivered. That's how simple it is to trade with precision and accuracy. All right. So guys, this is all about this video. I will be expecting to do more and I will share more from my end to be able to help you to trade professionally. And guys, if you are enjoying this series I'm doing, you can do well to share this video, do well to invite your friends to my channel, do well to share the link of my YouTube channel to your friends and colleagues out there. Thank you guys. I will be expecting to have another entry and then I will share with you. See you in another video.